Australia, the United States, and China have smashed solar deployment records over the past 12 months. And I actually should be mentioning Europe as well. It's broken its own records too. However, I've talked about Australia's new records. I've talked about China's. In fact, China is installing more, more renewables than the rest of the world combined. And I've spoken at length about Europe's renewable deployment. But when it comes to America, well, you guys are not getting enough credit, I think. The US has smashed solar records in 2023. And the majority of this solar is not in solar farms, but it's on individual rooftops. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. The US is expected to add a record setting 33 gigawatts of solar capacity in 2023. According to a new report, the Solar Energy Industries Association, SEA, and Wood McKenzie released their latest report. In a report titled US Solar Market Insight Q4 2023, it said that in the third quarter, additions of new total solar were 6.5 gigawatts, a 35% year over year increase versus last year as federal clean energy policies begin to take hold. So some of the incentivizations coming from the US government are helping to drive this. A lot of those just people saying, you know what, it makes sense to use solar. California and Texas led the US for new solar installations in Q3. There's a lot of sun there. That makes a lot of sense. And Indiana ranked third, surprisingly, with 663 megawatts of new capacity as several large utility scale projects came online. 14 states and Puerto Rico installed more than 100 megawatts of new solar capacity in Q3. Now, what that means is that solar is expected to be the largest source of generating capacity on the US grid by 2050. And I would say it'll happen quicker than that. I think about 2040. The key reason for this, solar panel prices continue to fall. The SEIA president and CEO, Abigail Ross Hopper, said this. Solar remains the fastest growing energy source in the United States, and despite a difficult economic environment, this growth will continue for years to come. To maintain this forecasted growth, we must modernize regulations and reduce bureaucratic roadblocks to make it easier for clean energy companies to invest capital and create jobs. The residential solar segment installed a record 210,000 systems in Q3. However, the California Public Utilities Commission's disastrous decision to gut the state's rooftop solar incentives per electric, per electric.co, resulted in an 80% drop in installations. And elevated US interest rates are expected to lead to a decline next year before growth resumes in 2025. So I've got to say it is disappointing to see that the California government is really prioritizing hydrogen instead of solar. I think that's a mistake over the long term. Elevated financing costs, transformer shortages, and interconnection bottlenecks are also impacting the utility scale segment, which saw its lowest level of new contracts signed in a quarter since 2018. Fortunately, residential solar is making up the difference. Improvements in module supply chains have led to a record 12 gigawatt of utility scale deployment in the first nine months of 2023, regardless of the challenges being faced. And solar accounts now for 48% of all new electric generating capacity over the first three quarters in 2023. This has brought total installed solar capacity in America to 161 gigawatts across nearly 5 million installations. By 2028, US solar capacity will reach over 377 gigawatts. Now, I'd estimate that'll be closer to 450, enough to power more than 65 to 75 million homes, depending on which number you go for. Michelle Davis, head of solar research at Wood McKenzie and lead author on this report said this, the US solar industry is on a strong growth trajectory with expectations of 55% growth this year and 10% in 2024. Growth will be slower starting in 2026 as various challenges will become more acute. It's critical that the industry continue to innovate to maximize the value that solar brings to an increasingly complex grid. Either way, it's clear here that solar deployment is rocketing ahead. And there's a lot of negative news reports from the media. They focus on the negative. 
Ultimately though, the real takeaway here is this, solar installations have hit a new record in America and solar growth is well over what we expected. 55% growth this year overall is an amazing result. I've got to say hats off to everyone, hats off to America for doing a fantastic job in deploying such a huge amount of renewables over the past 12 months. Could the country do better? Yes, but I still think it's trending in the right direction. Thank you for watching.